2011 bought three military airplanes, the C-295s, from Airbus. The nation received it first, C-295, in November 2011, the second in April 2012, and the third in November 2015. The deals covering them were argued at the time to be in line with the 2009-2012 strategic plan of the Ghana Armed Forces. All three purchases approved by Ghana's parliament after heated disagreements on the floor were roundly marketed by the government of the day as a drive to modernize Ghana's air force. Well, a judgment by England's Crown Court in Southwark later gave a new life to earlier suspicions that the agreements covering C-295s especially were corrupt. The court, however, took the view that prosecuting Airbus would, among other things, lead to massive job losses and decimates the company's performance on the stock market in the immediate to long term. The judgment, the British court stated that the Stuart Fraud Office investigations found that Airbus, which has since agreed to pay over £3 billion in fines, had engaged in schemes that involved bribing its way to lucrative contracts in countries such as Malaysia, Sri Lanka, Taiwan, Indonesia and Ghana. The then Special Prosecutor Martin Amidu said he had established the identity of the elected government official one in the Airbus scandal as former head of state John Domani Mahama, who never offered to make any voluntary statement to his office. Fixing the country says justice must be served. As a citizen or trusted citizen or trusting citizen of Ghana, we want Ghanaian justice system to open a thorough inquiry on the Airbus corruption because we strongly believe that the former president, John Dramani Mahama, is culpable in this stinking corruption case as established an admission and support court documents in the U.S. and the United Kingdom. And we want to reiterate the point that no one is above accountability. If after 16th November, public manifestation or the picketing, there are still no action in this regard, fixing the country movement will continue to put pressure on the investigative bodies across country to lead a citizen, another citizen coalition to congregate and picket in front of the office of the former president until we get an adequate answer. We have received threats from the other side of the NDC giving us threats that when we come there, we should bring our caskets and all that. We are law-abiding citizens, and we want to sound this warning to them that we are not cowards. We are waiting for the D-Day, the 16th, when we start to pick it. Let them dare try and make a move.